Moving objects or components changes their position in 3D space. This is also known as translation. To use the Move tool, you can click its icon in the toolbox or press the W key. Drag the center handle to move the object freely in the view, or drag on each arrow to move only along the X, Y, or Z axis. You can also select an arrow, then middle drag anywhere in the scene to move along that axis. To move the object along a plane, click the plane handle and drag between the two axes you want. You don't even need to click on an axis arrow or plane handle directly. Just press the shift key and middle drag in the direction you want anywhere in the scene to move the object along that axis. For example, if manipulator display is off in the view, you can use this method to move an object. To change the size of the manipulators, you can use the plus and minus keys. You can also set the default manipulator size in the Preferences window. Select Manipulators and change the Global Scale slider. Here you can also set the default handle size. And you can choose whether to show the plane handles or not, and how much these handles are offset from the manipulator's center. If you want more precise values than you get with the manipulators, you can use the channel box, which is covered in another video. To change the settings for the Move tool, double-click its icon or click the Tool Settings icon in the upper right corner. You can also hold down the W key and click on the object to show the marking menu for the Move tool. This menu contains the same options that are available in the Tool Settings. The axis orientation is one of the main things to set, which lets you choose the space in which objects move. By default, the Move tool works in world mode so that the object moves in relation to the global axes. Edit Pivot lets you change the position and or the orientation of the object's pivot, which changes the axis orientation to custom. You may also want to set the step snap to move the object at specific unit increments. When your object is in a hierarchy, moving the parent also moves its children. But if you select Preserve Children, you can move the parent without affecting the children's positions. Check the Maya help for information on these and other options in the Move Tool settings.